Do you have acid reflux, indigestion, gas, or bloating? That's what we're going to be talking about in this week's episode of The Wellness Connection. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark LeMay. Have you been told that you have too much stomach acid and that's why that you're having acid reflux? It's more likely that you have too little. Here's why. Around age 40, most people are only producing 50% less stomach acid than when they were 20 years of age. By the age of 50, it's down to 25%. But wait a minute. We need stomach acid to digest our food. You've heard the old saying, you are what you eat. Well, not exactly. It's more like you are what you digest. Your body has three organs that helps you to do digestion. That's your stomach, your liver gallbladder, and your pancreas. So let's talk a little bit about physiology and how they work together to digest your food. So the stomach is an acid organ. It is supposed to get its pH down to about a one to three, which is highly acidic. So for it to be able to do that, you have to have really strong stomach acid. So the other ones is your liver gallbladder that produces bile acids. Bile is to help break down fat. And then your pancreas produces pancreatic enzymes, which helps to break down protein, fats, and carbohydrates. So if you have a normally operating stomach and it gets its pH to one to three, when it breaks down the proteins in there, because you need that to be able to break them apart, is that hot ball of acid drops down into your small intestine, you need to neutralize that. And that's what the bile acids and the pancreatic enzymes are there to do plus to help mix together with that chyme to basically absorb the foods. Because remember, you want to absorb your foods because you gotta digest them and absorb them. So there's a little there's a little sensor at the sphincter of Odi that senses chemical changes as far as pH. So if it's between one and three and it drops down into that small intestine, it squirts up bile acids and it squirts up pancreatic enzymes and everything is fine. Okay, raises up the pH, don't burn your small intestine, and you get great digestion. But if your stomach acid is above four, those sensors say, hey, there's not a problem here. So it doesn't squirt out any pancreatic enzymes and it doesn't squirt out any of those bile acids to neutralize them. So you get a sluggish bile and you get very sluggish pancreas. And so that's not good. That's how you can develop gallstones and pancreatic problems. So also, if you get all that coming through undigested from the stomach, you're going to get leaky gut, irritable bowel, constipation, diarrhea, a whole bunch of bad things. So that's why you want to have good digestion. Now, there's a couple easy solutions you can do here. One is apple cider vinegar. That is a wonderful solution to basically produce more stomach acid to get that pH down. Another one you can do is bitters. One of my favorites is called Swedish bitters. There's a bunch of different ones you can get out there. Just take a look. I'm sure you can find one that will work really well for you. And then another one that I like is a real great power combo is hydrochloric acid and pepsin. Now you got to have these together because if you take a piece of protein and you try to break it down with just hydrochloric acid, it doesn't work. It will barely do anything. Pepsin by itself on protein doesn't do it either. If you put them together like that, it'll break that protein down wonderfully. So those are some things you can do yourself at home. Even if you've been suffering with this condition for a long period of time, under the care of a knowledgeable healthcare practitioner, you can resolve these kind of issues in a relatively short period of time. If you want, you can call our office for a free 15 minute consultation with me. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. I'm Dr. Mark LeMay. Thanks for watching.